So guys, um, having spoken about the anatomy and applied anatomy of the carotid body, we'll be moving to talk about uh, the anatomy and applied anatomy of the carotid sinus, okay? And in our previous lecture on the carotid body, we made it clear that the carotid body and the carotid sinus are actually located within the same place in the body. So the question is, discuss the anatomy and applied anatomy of the carotid sinus. Discuss the anatomy and applied anatomy of the carotid sinus. So this is the carotid sinus. I can see that the carotid sinus is like um, sensory fibers back into the medulla. And these sensory fibers are also related to the heart. Okay. So basically, uh, the carotid sinus is like, will I say, hemoreceptors. Okay. They actually regulate pressure. They regulate blood pH. They regulate um, the oxygen level in the body, they regulate the carbon dioxide level in the body, okay? So I hope from here you guys are relating what the applied anatomy will be, okay? The applied anatomy will be something that has to do with slowing of the heart or headache since it regulates pressure baroreceptors, okay? So the anatomy, the definition. Uh, this is a slight dilatation that lies at the junction of the termination of the common carotid artery and the beginning of the internal carotid artery. So if this is the common carotid artery, all right, and this is the internal carotid artery and this is the external carotid artery, just know that where the common carotid artery is ending and the beginning of the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery is where the carotid sinus lies. So now, this structure is inhabited by the VGS, the vagus nerve, Glossopharyngeal nerve and sympathetic trunk. Okay, so what is the function of the carotid sinus? We said that the carotid sinus serves as a baroreceptor and regulates the blood pressure. Okay, carotid sinus serves as a baroreceptor and regulates blood pressure. Okay, and blood pressure regulation has to do with your pH. Blood pH has to do with the oxygen level in the body, has to do with the, uh, the common di carbon dioxide level in the body, and all that. Okay. So now, let's use this image to define the carotid sinus again, okay? So, this is a common carotid artery. It is coming here to bifurcate or divide into the internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery. And here lies the carotid sinus, okay? And it contains baroreceptors. The carotid sinus contains baroreceptors. So what is the applied anatomy of this carotid sinus? as a carotid sinus syndrome, okay? So that's when it becomes hypersensitive. In some persons, the sinus may be hypersensitive. In such persons, sudden rotation of the head may cause slowing of the heart. Now, why is it rotation of the, of the head? Of course, the carotid uh, sinus is located in the neck, okay? So now when you rotate, it is putting pressure on the carotid sinus. All right now you are rotating freely is because your carotid sinus is not hypersensitive but when it is hypersensitive and you rotate your head to cause slowing of the heart okay but because this innervations from here the sensory fibers are coming to here and the heart is picking some sensory fibers okay that are related to the carotid sinus and the carotid sinus is a baroreceptor okay so this condition that's uh, okay, the condition where there's like slowing of the heart as a result of hypersensitivity of the carotid sinus is what we call the carotid sinus syndrome. Okay, so that's it for now. See you guys in the next era. Bye for now.